yourself, I think your knee's gonna be bent for a little bit and it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh my God, it rents to the moon. <laughs> We're going so slow and it makes the best turbo <laughs> noises. Hey guys, uh, here checking out a cool little car. Uh, met Mike at a Cars and Coffee type meet last week and uh, showed a lot of interest in this neat little car he's got and he offered to uh, show me around and actually like give me an in-depth uh, look over the vehicle here. So uh, Mike, good. thank you again for letting me do this. No problem at all. So Mike's got this really cool little car, we'll just do a walk around here and he can kind of explain what makes it so special. But uh, it's a 1996 Daihatsu Mira and how do you say that? The TRX? Uh, TRXX Avanzado. Avanzado. So, I think it's avocado. It's an avocado. Okay. <laughs> it's a little avocado. So this is a key car. Correct. So these are like Japanese legislation, basically limited to 660 cc's. Correct. It, how long have you had this? Um, I had it almost a year now. Um, okay. I've done about, I would say 7,000 kilometers with it and it hasn't given me an issue. I've driven it about 120 kilometers a day when I do drive it um, on the highway, no problems at all. Uh, it's good for scooting around town also, but not your practical vehicle for driving on the highway. <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's made for Japanese roads, right? Yes. So this is gonna be for tight little city streets mainly. Now you said it does do highway speeds, no problem, right? Oh yeah, yep. it has no problem keeping up with traffic. You can still pass people with no problems. You know, it'll do 120. Um, it is a little sketchy tra passing transport trucks because it is so little. And it is, uh, you know, like a shoebox, but it's fine. <laughs> well, this is the sort of vehicle I'm just going to hop in here. This is the sort of vehicle you end up being really close friends uh, with. Sure. Anything right-hand drive, I'm all about. You're rubbing shoulders with somebody for sure. <laughs> yeah, you are. When you turn, it's very tight. And is this uh, stock? Um, everything inside it that you see is stock from my knowledge. Um, the only thing I've put in it, as you see, is the boost gauge. Um, okay. I didn't have one, so I like to know where it's sitting, so I made that all custom because okay. I couldn't find anything that would sit nice. No, that looks so like I a nice install. That was a good spot for it. Yeah, that's a nice install. So, and uh, I just ran it low boost because uh, it doesn't run anything high boost, so I found something that runs 15 pounds, so it looks factory. Okay. Cool. Cool. Five speed? Yes, it's a five speed. It does have an LSD. Oh, cool. Uh, yep, not something that most of the UK cars have, which is very nice, but it's clicky when you drive it around. You can hear it locking when it needs to be. Okay, and this one's the front wheel drive. Correct. The R is the all wheel drive yes, one, right? And they are optional. Some of them have a three cylinder turbo, and some of them have a four cylinder turbo for the all wheel drive. That's cool. So you have power windows, and yeah, it you'd, does have power windows. You'd expect a, a, like an entry level car like this. That was have... the first thing I was curious about. I'm like, as if it has power oh, windows. Do my feet fit on the pedals here? Look at this. They're very small. Hey, the that's not too bad. More, so you should have a lot more room. I got a size 11, and that's not that's not too bad. Yeah, and you said the seat goes, goes yeah, just to... Yeah, the seat uh... does go back. Oh, well, okay. Uh, not much more, but it does. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's uh, not bad. The steering my... wheel goes up and down also. My legs are up, and they're not rubbing on the wheel. That's really good. Is this, is this an aftermarket wheel? Um, It looks like it is. I, I've seen some OEM Daihatsu wheels, and they're kind of ugly so this looks like it has been replaced at one point yeah kind of, like, yeah not many cars make it out of japan after like 20 years without yeah, some modifications it's, it's a nice wheel though but i can see it's all worn out here from you know constantly yeah arm here yeah yeah that's cool i love this texture on the seats too it's really neat yeah the uh checkered look or the confetti i think it's a confetti to go confetti that's cool same with the mats nice now this one did have AC at one point, but it wasn't really that cold, so I just disconnected it and eliminated it all to give me some more room in the engine bay. A little more power too. Yes. <laughs> a couple more yeah, horsepower. It has 70 horsepower, so. Yeah. So that is, you have trouble getting tires, you think, for that? Yeah, they are extremely hard to find. That's like a trailer tire even, like. I would like to find something a little bit wider because I find they look small, they look a little pizza cutters, and yeah. uh, they're a little bit unstable at higher speeds, so something a little bit wider would be nice. If I could find a 14, that would be great, but this is a 4x1 14 bolt pattern, or sorry, 4x1 10 bolt pattern. Yeah, the so bolt pattern looks hard. giant. The bolt pattern looks giant, yes. but it's just because it's only a 13 inch rim. But that is actually, uh, from what I'm, from my understanding, it's a side-by-side. -side. The average side-by-side -side four wheeler, it uses the same rim. So you can use some side-by-side -side rims. Yeah, I've been nice. looking to see what I could find, but the dish is so deep that it won't fit in this car without using some sort of flair. So did it come with like a two-tone at all, or was this like, you you redid the graphics on it? Correct, yeah. My sister actually did the graphics. We took, uh, I had a gentleman from, uh, I believe Indonesia, 
that sent me all the graphics design and the exact prints of what it should look like the and the sizing. And uh, she got them traced out and made and put those on. I did the paint to the red and uh, that's it. Just yeah, to make look, it look a little bit more flashy. That looks fantastic. Thank you. And you need the brakes too. Yeah, brakes got a match. That is a factory exhaust. That's the factory exhaust. That looks so Correct. cool. That looks awesome. Nice tip. Just a little, it looks like a little street bike exhaust, I've always thought. <laughs> so is there like a latch to get it over oh, here? You, you got to do the key? It's still a key, yes. Um, it does have a latch inside the vehicle to open it up. Lots of storage in the back of this, I imagine. It actually does. We've actually, gone grocery shopping for four people and we somehow fit our whole grocery shopping bags in here. This thing's crazy. That's They're not really bad. With space. Yeah. The seat isn't 50 50 or 50 60 or anything like or sorry yeah 40, the whole 40, thing 60. goes the... yeah it's just one one piece down but still does give you quite a bit of oh storage yeah space if you did need it not um, bad it does have a spare tire and if any anything you need like that on the side of the road you're good see look how clean everything is into here too like this yeah. is a this is a 96 1996 i'm very happy with it this is why i'm such a fan of the imports from japan like get a good shot underneath at how clean everything is <laughs> And this was probably daily driven in Japan for at least 15 years before it was brought over to Canada, right? I would assume, and whoever had this vehicle obviously took good care of it, because I've seen some online and pictures of them, and some of them look really rough. This one is in pristine condition, I must say, for a 96. It's not going to be perfect, but well, they got to be happy with it. I find guess. a 1996 local market Canadian car that looks halfway this good. Exactly. And is that, is that where you put the washer fluid? Yes, that's, that is for the rear. The rear has for the its rear, reservoir. it's got own reservoir for the rear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I've topped that up since I've had it. I don't use it much. There's like little vents here to vent the trunk. Correct. Yep. No padding or anything. It's got the defrost. Defrost. Work. Yep. It has the defrost. The uh, rear wiper um, has a sprayer. Everything works as it should. That's so cool. That is. I always Such found a nice little the, vehicle. Uh, the third spoil or the, the middle spoiler here fascinating on these little cars. It's always been one of my favorite things about it. The mid spoiler, I think you would call it. Yeah, yeah, I like that. They have to put a giant hole in it just to keep the rear wiper. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad that if you look at it from the back, it's offset. It's not center, but I guess that's part of uh, their quirkiness. <laughs> Let's check out what's under here. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, Oh, that's okay. That's a pretty self-explanatory one. Bar. Oh, there we go. Giant battery. Everything's <laughs> so big. I think I just replaced the the battery in my lawn tractor. Yep, yeah, that's uh, just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think, was, I think it was. I think it's about that size. So, six sixty cc. Correct. Three cylinder. Three cylinder. Uh, turbo, and uh, it's got. I see heat wrap. Yeah, I, I, put a, I put a little front mount on it, just because it did have a top mount, and driving gloss. this on the highway, yeah, that's an aftermarket nice. low-off valve also. That's cool. Just some little things on it, just to make it my own, oh. and uh, help it with the highway. That's pretty good cold air, I mean, it's right there. Correct. Right it's... through the front grill. And I did offset the intercooler, so I can keep the plate, and the intercooler was still noticeable. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, because the plate really does block off a lot of that grill space. Yeah. That, that's got to be aftermarket, Strut right? Market. Yeah, that is aftermarket. Um, it came with the vehicle when I bought it. They were, this was like a baby blue. I just wanted the power color painted black, power coated, so it looks uh, just a little bit better because yeah. there was no blue in the vehicle. Yeah. And a little tiny alternator. Yeah. It's, it's like so the size little. of a coffee cup. I actually put uh, an air filter on there. That's from a side by side. Oh, nice. Yep, that because is. of the size of it, and it works perfect. Yeah, it fits, it fits right in there. Because I couldn't find nice. anything that was remotely close in the area, so I had to order something for a side-by-side, -side just because of sizing. Yeah. What's fun about having something like this is, like, you really, it's, if you don't mind doing the, the, the work, it's, it's kind of fun figuring things out. Exactly. There's you, not really much you can screw up being an older vehicle like this. If something goes wrong, you know, you just undo it and go back to the way you, way it was and it just doesn't mind. Yeah. And that's an easy, like, it's easy to work on. Everything's so, like, it's not like that tight in here because the motor is so small. Right. However small the car is, the motor's even smaller. So. And what makes it convenient if you is there work is the whole front rad support comes off, bumper comes off uh, very easily. There's six bolts. So you have the four here, your fog lights come out and the bumper slips off. So you have access to the whole front end oh, well, within yeah. a minute. It's very nice, very easy, convenient. 
Awesome. That's so cool. So what's the stock power on these? Like uh, from what I from what I know, they make uh, 64 horsepower. Okay. 64. I don't know if that's to the wheels or to the crank, but yeah, around 64 horsepower and around 78 foot pounds of torque, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they redline at 9,000 RPMs, <laughs> but it is unneeded because it stops making power at like seven 7,000 RPMs. So, okay. <laughs> just yeah, it's just you're just revving it. You're just nothing. spinning it. That must it's, be fun to drive. It's and, very snappy. Yeah, it's good on the highway. It's good for around town. Um, you don't even notice hills. Um, hills are great. You know, a little car. What's has, the weight on it? Um, it is 700 kilograms, which is equivalent to about 1,500 pounds or so. Yeah, okay. That I know of anyway. Yeah, so it's less quite than light. half my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually almost half Yeah, okay, so you got the Yaris. <laughs> Let's just do a side-by-side. -side. Actually, it's perfect. the Yaris is small. Yeah, the Yaris <laughs> is about as small as we get here. Yeah, it's like a good 30 for 40 percent larger. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, would you take me for a spin? I think it'd be a fun little thing to go for a ride. Of course, in. yeah, we can go for a ride. Oh, I can't get from the passenger seat. Oh, why? I didn't need any room. Thinks turning circle is probably incredible. Yeah, you can do a U-turn in a two-lane road. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so you now, have to tell me which way to go because I'm not too familiar with this area. Uh, you can make uh, a right if you'd like. <laughs> We're going so slow it makes the best turbo <laughs> noises. <laughs> so we just got up to 30 kilometers an hour. It and already feels like we're doing 50. I'm here in the blow off valve. All right, so just pull right here. Wow, that's, that was much quicker than I thought. <laughs> I'm, and that's like 20% throttle, like I'm not giving yeah. it anything. It's very snappy, I it, find in the roads, it's very snappy, it's fun. Oh my God. Now and you I, do feel every bump, as, you, as you're aware. Yeah. Yep, bouncing yeah. around like bobbleheads. I did come here in a crown too, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, a big luxury car. So much fun! It's very nimble, very nimble. And this is a straight road. Like this is this road is absolutely straight, and it's a boring road. And I'm having fun already. <laughs> just like, oh, there's a little crack I don't want to hit. It tracks nice. Like it feels stable. It drives but, straight. Yep. But a millimeter on the wheel, and it does what you want. The tiniest movements. And like, is that 2,500 RPM cruising with speed? This is cool. I really like this. So, okay, it's rev matches. It actually feels a little bit like a bigger engine. Like, I don't know if it's because the turbo maybe chokes it a little bit. I think it's because side. of the extra added torque plus the vehicle is so light. It yeah. just does what you want. Can we get rid of the lights here? It is super uh, responsive. Synchros. Very, very uh, notchy, I find. Third gear is always the tricky one. Because uh, the, the way you sit in the vehicle, I find you're not completely straight. You're actually sitting on a little angle. So it throws you off when you're shifting. Because I have an issue rev matching getting into third to second. That's always been my little problem. But I'm getting better at it. <laughs> the noises it makes. <laughs> it just makes you happy. You, you can't drive this and be in a bad mood. It's and like the, riding a jet ski. Exactly. And the <laughs> amount of light, the looks that you get in this car is just unreal. <laughs> just roll onto it and get a boost. And I'm not going any faster. No, it seems like you're going fast, but you're actually doing the speed limit or you're still under. I'm probably under, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not speeding. Everyone should have an experience of driving something like this. That's what I've always said. I think I gotta get one of these now. If my wife's watching this, I apologize. I have a problem. <laughs> this is fun. And you're also in fourth gear going up a hill right now. Yeah. Sometimes I always forget what gear I'm in because it has no problem no matter what you're doing. <laughs> it's too little. 
There's no dead pedal to rest your foot on if you've got size 11 feet, though. No, it does <laughs> It does get uncomfortable, even yeah. for myself. I don't have big feet, and uh, it does get comfortable under the knee. You can go under the clutch pedal, and you can rest it, but that's about all you have. And for your right foot, it's not too bad, but if you have a big foot and you're taller, like yourself, I think your knee's going to be bent for a little bit, and it's going to hurt after a long drive. Can you circle back on the but, highway? Yes, you can, uh, right after these lights, you can make a right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> feel oh, free to punch it a little God. bit if you'd like. You can just get oh, a little feel for it. Go for it. All right. Oh my God, it rips to the moon. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah, we're cruising at 110 like that. No problem. <laughs> now, these roads are extremely windy, so you're going to feel everything. <laughs> As soon yeah. as you get to offer our regular speed. It's not a quiet car to ride in. A long road trip would be tiring. <laughs> oh, but it's fun. I would take this to get groceries every day. I'd make excuses to go out. Well, we, we really could use one more carrot for tonight's supper. I gotta go to the store. <laughs> I use every excuse I can get. Coffees, we're getting four coffees a day. <laughs> the only downfall is coffees, there's no cup holders, unfortunately. Oh. There is nothing. I usually just uh, get a tray and balance them on the seat, make sure I drive with care and caution. It's starting to rev match pretty good. The friction points, like, as soon as you've got, you've got must have a lot of clutch left in it. Very good clutch, and I find uh, because everything's cable in this car, cable clutch and cable throttle, uh, everything is very uh, instant. You gotta be going a little slow for the synchros in first. Yeah, first gear, I usually make sure I'm stopped. There's the LSD. It is a blast to drive around. This is a car I would call quick, not fast. It is very quick for what it is. It's not uh, not what you would expect for a K car. That's uh, that's one thing. And people joke, like you know, you know, it's not about miles per gallon with all, any fun car they have that gets horrible gas mileage. It's about smiles, smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon. Uh, that's what I wins. always think. <laughs> this wins no matter. Like there's nothing. There's nothing that you could possibly have that does better than this. In. Uh, in smiles per gallon, because it, it probably gets a ridiculous number of the fuel economy. And if you're not smiling, the people beside you in traffic are. Oh, it's the noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it never gets old, uh, it never gets old. I'm gonna try and back it in. Turbo this. vehicles are fun. Do here, backing it in. It's gotta be super nimble, right? You can, it'll fit anywhere. like a glove. It's an easy thing to drive. Right? Parking it, like and literally, you don't even need to parallel park it. You need to back into your spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it drives awesome, man. Appreciate it. No Thanks problem, thank you cool for car. taking it out for a ride. Yeah, I think uh, more people should consider these. They're a lot of fun. I completely agree. Yep. All right, thanks, man. No problem at all, thank you. <laughs>